Okay, so I'm going to get ready to redo my LED lighting in my BioCube. Uh, in my first video, <clears throat> I f when I was going to redo the lights, I found out um, why my lighting in my BioCube wasn't wasn't enough. And when I opened it up, I found out that um, what I had was two Panorama Pro modules. I had a a, a uh, um, white blue and then a, a red red and blue and um, I thought well I needed to add another panorama module and so I bought another panorama module which is the one that's in here now but when I opened it up I again discovered that uh, let's see, I don't know how well you, I'm sure you can probably see that like this one is totally burnt out this one's burnt out this one's burnt out they're all black it, it basically what had happened is I had burnt out half of the LEDs that were in, were in the fixture in the two fixtures so instead of running on two fixtures I was really running on one so anybody that has a question whether you can get by with one module the answer is no you really need at least two well I was really frustrated by this so I went ahead and I contacted Ecozotic, the makers of the Panorama Pro modules, and even though Ecozotic uh, did not have to replace my units because I was outside of the warranty, the warranty on the, on the modules is one year, and I was about a year and a half, they sent me two brand new Panorama Pro modules to replace the ones that were damaged, that I damaged. and. So I can't say enough about Ecozotic. Tremendous, tremendous customer service. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I was hoping to get a break on some replacement modules. That was my hope. But for them to totally replace them, unbelievable. Uh, so if you are coming down to a couple different brands on doing some kind of an LED lighting upgrade, and Ecozotic is one of them, I would factor that into your decision. Uh, very very proud or very very happy with their decision so what does that mean now in addition to getting the panorama pro modules I got some literature from them and what had happened and the reason these units burn out was because inside of this hood if I take this off underneath here there are two fans and the fans made a lot of noise and I kind of concluded that well since I'm running LEDs I really don't need the fans so I turned the fans off as a result it got way too hot underneath here now the LEDs don't put out a lot of heat but they do put out some heat so uh, you have to keep that in mind and you have to cool this somehow whether you run the fans or my thought is to cut apart um, this cover uh, or you could go without the cover now these these modules are supposed to be resistant to the water but I would like to have some kind of a kind of a cover on them but uh, my, my thought is to cut out the sides of the of the, the shield here and and see if I can't help to ventilate the modules that way. I am going to go with three modules. I probably will not have to run them at full power. So, uh, but I'm going to be back to one module is going to be red blue, one's going to be blue white, and one's just, I think two are blue white actually. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling this thing again and see how I go about doing this. Because the problem I've got yeah, is, as you can see, is this side on the original power compacts this is where the original bulbs were and so putting the modules in here was really easy it wasn't a problem but the problem is is I gotta put another module over here or I gotta figure out a way to squeeze in three there I don't I'm not sure which way I don't know that I can put three in there but my thought was to to take this off and then remove all of the fans and the wiring because I am totally removing the fans from this uh, operation so let me get started there and I'll be right back okay so I got the 
shield this thing removed and it goes like that but and you can see all the wires I got down under here um, some of the stuff was disconnected before for my first modification and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the fans and all the hardware here to open this all up but it's not real involved at this point but like I said my my goal is to eliminate um, the fans from the cooling so I don't have the noise but I also am still able to cool so let me take those out that stuff out and I'll be right back okay so I've got all the stuff out of here and I think I've come up with an idea of what I'm gonna do um, there are you can see there are little mounting holes all over through here to hold the shield and all that stuff in place I really don't need the reflector shield because these have their own reflectors and and but I looked at it and I thought well maybe I could mount them that one there and it actually lines up with the two holes and I could do two of them like that that's one option and then the third would go back here some where I'm not sure exactly how but I, I really would would prefer to have the lights centered in the fixture so what I've thought of doing is I've thought about using some of this angle iron, this aluminum. Um, this is one eight inch, one and a quarter inch uh, angle iron, which I used um, in my radion light fixture. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a frame in here, and then mount the uh, Ecozotics to this framework. I'm going to have to. Tr one of the things I'm going to have to do is that this fan box over here. There was no box but this side there was a box I'm, so I'm going to have to trim that out and then these two pegs back here I'm going to have to cut those out and I'll just use my Dremel to do that and just a rechargeable Dremel the batteries out of it but so I'm going to cut all that out and then uh, I can start figuring out my frame and then I'm just going to cut the the pieces and and piece together the the framework of this of this mounting apparatus and then so then I'm going to go ahead and, and put the three units in there like that so <clears throat> let me get started on that and uh, I'm going to dremel this stuff out and then I'll be right back okay so here's what I've done um, all I've done is just remove all the wiring and the fans and then I cut um, just using uh, my dremel um, I cut out the the bracket that was around this fan box and then there were two pegs one here and one here that I had to cut out too so that's all I've done all the rest of the stuff is still in place and I took a piece of the uh, the L brace the angle iron um, and I made two holes and um, and I mounted this to the two pieces over here now I'm not sure if I'm just gonna go with that or if I'm going to go ahead and put some more do something down here but the problem is is there's no other mounts down here so if I'm going to do something here I'm probably going to have to put something else across or some, I don't know I think to be honest I think this is good enough I think it's pretty solid and these things eh, they don't weigh that much um, but there's really, like I say, there's nothing else really to mount it to down here. But I do like how putting the lights across on here is going to take, and there's going to be some space back behind, because here's where it dissipates heat back here. And if you flush mount that, it can't dissipate that heat, so it cooks the side. And it cooks the light so by elevating that you get air behind there and it helps on on heat dissipation so I'm gonna go ahead and mount the other side and uh, we'll see where we get to I, I like I said I think I'm probably just gonna go ahead and and put them on here I don't know whether I'm gonna screw them on there or whether I'm I'll probably screw them on um, because I, I don't think there's that much to it uh, it's pretty easy. This stuff's pretty easy to screw to uh, drill through and and uh, to put a screw in. So I'll probably go ahead and do that. But we'll 
we'll see what what it looks like uh, after I get it done here.